we had been telling everybody the story about the ghost in our house coming and opening all our cupboards and the oven and the microwave and all this stuff. We had been telling everybody the story about the ghost in our house coming and opening all our cupboards and the oven and the microwave and all this stuff. We had been telling everybody the story about the ghost in our house coming and opening all our cupboards and the oven and the microwave and all this stuff. We had been telling. Okay. So we had, now, we have the seven H's. Do you remember? I'll talk about them in the next lesson, but he, her, has, had, have, had, has. The seven H's, very typically, commonly in the middle, we can cancel or weaken the H sound. We had been, we had been, we had been, American pronunciation, been. Telling. So the word is telling, but I-N-G has three pronunciations. We can say ing, we can say in, and we can say un, kind of a schwa, very short un. And here he says, telling everybody, telling, it's the un and the connection. We had been telling everybody, we had been telling everybody, we had been telling everybody, telling everybody the story, very fast, but get that th, do not, it's there, listen. We had been telling everybody the story, we had been telling everybody the story, we had been telling everybody the story, the words are easy. It's, it's like sports. You exercise. You need to practice. We had been telling everybody the story. The story about the ghost. Great job. The story about the ghost in our house, in our, in our, in our, once again, don't leave out that R, in our house. Coming and opening. Now this was interesting. Coming, he says coming with the, uh, the schwa and and opening. And here he uses ing, okay? So he used both pronunciations right after each other. Coming and coming and the N cancels the D. Coming and opening. Coming and opening. Coming and opening. Coming and opening all our. Coming and opening all our. Opening all our. All our. All our. Once again, R. Yeah, three R's in this sentence. All our. Cupboards. Cupboards. So, the word is cupboards, uh, but the pronunciation, the P is silent. There's no P, and we don't say cupboards, we say cupboards. Cupboards. So it actually sounds like birds. Cupboards. Cupboards. The accent goes here. Coming and opening all our cupboards. Coming and opening all our cupboards. Coming and opening all our cupboards and the oven and the oven. So once again, just like up here and the, here it's and me because this is a vowel, oven. So it's basically sounds like, it's, it almost sounds like any, any, keep two ends here. This is like an E. And the oven and the oven. Very quick in the microwave and the oven and the microwave and the oven and the microwave and the oven and the microwave. Very fast, very fast. And here it's not and the. It's N. However, I do agree, this is really tough. You can kind of hear this, but is that there? I think it is. I think it is. And the microwave, and all this stuff, and all this stuff, and all this stuff. And once again, cancel the D, and all, and all, and all. This is an A W sound, and all this. And here, the L makes the TH weak. Okay? And all this. So try the TH, all this. Remember, the perfect L is between the teeth, and all this, all this. Same position, the L and the TH, but the L is the strong sound, which means we're going to hear more L than TH. And all this stuff, and all this stuff, and all this stuff, and all this stuff. Okay?